$300,000 race car, Lamborghini Super Trofeo, beautiful racetrack in Virginia, pro racer, it'd be rude not to. This is why things are different for us on the World's Fastest Car Show. We don't just test them, we don't just review them, we don't just drive them. When we get the chance, we race them. And so here at VIR, I'm going to take out one of those Super Trofeo cars, number 63, doing 185 miles an hour on the back straight. It's pretty serious, and there's some great competition. So the next time you hear me, we'll be from inside the car. Radio check, I can hear you. All right, let's go. Warming up the tires. The Pirellis really do pick up temperature and grip very fast on this track. But the first lap is incredibly tough because you don't have the braking capacity or the mid-corner grip. You've got to be pretty careful yet not give everything away to your competitors. If you don't turn on the brake cooling fan, you'll soon find out. You can't stop it. Very cool mix of drivers lined up alongside me here. Al Carter, a real up and coming guy who's done a lot of racing the last four years. Super quick, races everything. Andy, young guy from the karting world, who's annoyingly fast. There's one pace car lap, so this lap will be the green flag. I better just focus. Looking for the green flag, looking for the green flag, looking for... slick to track temperatures very hot today so slick on these opening laps is just quick everyone's feeling pretty racy out here car is moving perfectly well balanced of course on this Gerardo super trofeo car keep it neat and tidy very important to have tire management here if you don't manage your tires you will have deterioration degradation and it just cost you at the end of the race. Thirteen hundred and fifty kilo, dry. Essentially, they come off the production line alongside the road-going cars. They're diverted off to the race track guys. An FIA spec roll cage is put in the seats, all the safety equipment, the fire extinguishers. On the dashboard here, you've got some of the original switch gear, and underneath you have obviously the race stuff that you need, which is brake cooling, uh, pit speed limiters, the on and off switches, fire extinguishers, and the suspension, the up and low control arms, they're the same, they just upgrade all the bushings, uh, obviously less give, make it a lot more, uh, a lot firmer, a lot more precise, but that's pretty much all that's happening on the suspension of the springs and dampers obviously there especially for racing um, interestingly enough you run narrower wheels on the race car than you want a road going Lamborghini Pirelli do an amazing job in, on providing a tire for the series bodywork wise a lot more aero package huge front splitter flat bottom under tray and then this 
aggressive, very uh, efficient rear wing, fully adjustable, that has to be there to trim out the car because the car does generate so much front downforce. But what's amazing, the engine really hasn't changed at all. They put a race management system on it. It's tough to believe that this is essentially a well-prepared, road-going race car. They haven't done much to it, but what a testament to how good it must have been right from the beginning. Trying to get out of there fast. If you have a bad exit there, you'll just get overtaken on the back straight. So far, so good. 175 miles an hour, little dab with the brakes on the left foot, make sure I've got pressure as I break down at just under 100 meters from 175 into a second gear right-hander. Pressure's on now, tire pressures are up. Track is really working for this whole group of Trofeo drivers. It is pretty impressive. Handling turn in is marvelous. I mean, for an all wheel drive car, you turn in absolutely on the spot. Quite incredible. Mid corner balance. It's really off the charts. Starting to set the guy up in front of me, giving him a bit of grief in the mirrors. Okay, a lot of grief in the mirrors. One of the young guys, he came by so fast, so impressive, but you know, you've got to manage and use a little bit of experience. Can't be too fast at the beginning as you'll have nothing left on your tires at the end. A little groan there. the world's fastest car show from Virginia International Raceway. That certainly was much too much work. I need to get back in the gym. Uh, another race tomorrow. But for those of you that say we don't really drive on this show, think again. Thank you, ladies. And you were the good luck. See you next week. Check back each week for more on your eBay Motors mobile app.